So yes, you're inside one of the passenger cars of the Palitrios Express on its way to Tigamura, the deserted grasslands of Barbella pass you by. You leave behind the stout palm trees and regrowing crystal deposits that populated the lands of Palitrios. And on board the train, you have your now traditional non-magical cart, which I can show you guys now has you had to redraw normal wheels, thanks to last Whoa, time. As you, wheels! As you took off the tracking sigil that was on it, which also disabled the floating crystals that kept it, you know, floating in the back. Mm -hmm. and, Do you uh, have the button, though? I think yeah. that's worth it. Uh, butterscotch and efficiency, your two horses, are taking yes. a rest in one of the other cars full of hay. Uh, one of the few other souls aboard are the human conductor, a couple of engineer helpers, and a cook behind the counter of a bar. And I can show you guys yes. the train proper now. Whoa, on the train. You're on Whoa. the train, and outside oh the goodness. windows you can see as well Whoa. Quarencia, the life Perfect. tree, off in the distance. Oh, there it is. Why this would anyone travel any it. other way? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I, we might find out soon. <laughs> the the option level. to get atop the train <laughs> doesn't fill me with hope. I think <laughs> after, I think uh, necessary. after I'm not we looking finished, into it. After we finished streaming last time, I was like, wow, Joe, this is so great. I can't wait till we have to have a high speed fight on top of a moving mm -hmm. train. Noth and you were like, nothing what? <laughs> why would, <laughs> why would you nothing think that? Nothing bad has ever happened on a train. Listen, Viserly had a map and you didn't have any combat there. Mm. True, true. But yes, this is right. the train layout. You can get on the roof of the train as signified by this, you know, secondary roof part of the map. Uh, <laughs> you nice. can find your horses back here in the hay that they are munching on. Your cart is cargo in the back in the caboose. caboose. And Sorry, there the are <laughs> beds caboose. as well over here. And a bar being run by an elven woman. A bar, you say? A bar. <laughs> Words grabbing a drink. Words grabbing a drink. Uh, <laughs> anything in particular. Or would you like uh, the surprise special? I would love the surprise special. The surprise special will require you to run, uh, roll a D100. Yes! Perfect. Yes! Whoa! And these are on the house, indeed, as you are the first passengers on this train Ooh. ever. And the benefits Ooh, of roll. being pilgrims. So these with an 89, bottom. let's see. Oh my, my god, okay. So, uh -huh, uh -huh. you get a cocktail that seems to be kind of looking like you're staring into the black, the center of a black hole with lights kind of swirling all around it. And you need to make a wisdom check. Fritz, look what I got. <laughs> I throw it back Ooh. and my brain starts hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Ah, my brain. Okay. Chug, chug, chug. <laughs> I can taste all of space and time. <laughs> okay. So. Uh, uh-huh. You know <laughs> that this, you, you taste this, and it's quite a bit tangy. Mm. Mm. So here's what it's supposed to do. <laughs> if you had, <laughs> if you had failed this, you know what? You taste it, and for a brief moment, you feel invincible. Yeah. You feel as though you could take on the entire world, but then, uh -oh. just as soon as you finish swallowing it, the feeling mm -hmm. fades completely, and you realize that it was just a flash in the pan. What were you thinking? Of course you can't take on the world. The world's too dangerous and scary. But it was still a tasty drink, nonetheless. I always feel like that all the time. <laughs> I just felt it more. <laughs> give me another. <laughs> <laughs> another. All right. The, the elven woman gives you another. She tells you that after three, she's going to have to cut you off. Uh, okay. Well, clever. Can it clever. Be the same one? <laughs> yeah. Roll another D100. Woo. Oh, wait. That, that was a wisdom saver. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it, oh, oh. You're... Another D100. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. D100. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The save was for the drink. 82. Oh. Not too far away. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good grouping. So, word. 
You take... She hands you this mug, what looks to be ale, very frothy. The bubbles rise up and almost tip over if you weren't so quick to chug it down to make sure it doesn't spill over the bar. Okay. And as you finish drinking it, you feel a little bit itchy, kind of around your chin area, as the rest of the party starts to see that you're growing hairs. Word starts Ah. to grow a beard over his kind Uh. of draconic chin. (laughs) Cool. I've changed this, my mind about trying one. <laughs> this is not what I expected. Do I, I look dashing? Um. Is it like really patchy? Did I get like a mustache? Or? I'm gonna let you decide how your beard grows. Yeah, I'm waiting okay. for you to describe it so I can react. I think he would just have a really villainous like goatee and mustache there. <laughs> All right, it's, Snidely Whiplash. It's like fully curled up. <laughs> it's fitting. It's and we find about railroad train. tracks you can yeah. tie a damsel to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm considering it. The elven woman uh, lets you know that uh, the, the beard will last uh, till the rest of the trip. No need to shave it off. <laughs> I'm surprised that this wasn't the same drink as last time, but I can't say that I'm disappointed. <laughs> I'll get up, I'll take myself and my mustache, and I'll go give the horses some snacks. Aww. Can I order a rum and lemonade and a pink gin? You get it. Unfortunately, they do not have any lemonade aboard, but they take it into account. I'll just take the rum. Yeah, she gives you a rum. They, they kind of write down on a note that uh, make sure to have non-alcoholic drinks. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll walk over and I'm like, I got you a pink gin. To who? Oh, thank you. So yes, word, you go to uh, give the horses some treats and you can see that they're enjoying their time. They're just kind of hanging out and uh, eating the hay. And uh, they do appreciate your company coming in. You see that when you like give them, I presume, I don't know, just like some sugar cubes or something. They just kind of uh, nibble actually- at your hand a little bit. I bought a week's worth of like sweet fruits and stuff for them. Ah, yes, Aww, two yeah. fruits, apples, yeah. and such. That's right. Yeah, they seem to very much appreciate your company. Cool. Uh-huh. And uh, what is it? Butterscotch, the lame horse, has grown very fond of you as you've been attending to her leg for quite a few times. And well, uh, how do they recognize left. him with the mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Who was? They that know dad? that I've just always been distinguished. <laughs> I, I go up to Butterscotch and I'm like, don't tell anyone, but you, you've always been my favorite companion to travel with. And then I go over to uh, Efficiency and I say the exact same thing. <laughs> Stop point, gaslighting say, the horses. <laughs> I'll say your care and bond with Butterscotch means that you can use, uh, if Butterscotch ever is in combat, not saying that she will be, but if she ever finds herself in combat, hmm. you can use a bonus action to give her simple commands and she will understand you. Okay, cool. <gasps> Heck yeah, thank you. Fine. I'll put my, my mustache back on. <laughs> oh no, it's been dislodged. <laughs> it's over, it's, it's all over the place. <laughs> so yes, you guys have like, quite a bit of time to kill on board. It's like Mario Paint, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I read my, I have a book, I still have my book. Can uh, I read, yes. what is the name of my book? I have it written down, is Lost in a Drift. One? Oh no! No, no it's just a romance novel. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm trying to group your mustache with your. Come on, oh, words! Okay. You gotta oh, stay still. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is important D and D shit. Yeah, it's we, very, very we have important. to get it get it figured out. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think I can. You're just gonna have to alt move yourself oh, every time. I'll keep redrawing it. It'll change slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do have that tasteful. Uh, romance novel, Lost in a Drift, about two mm-hmm. veteran airship captains who find themselves once again. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll just be leafing through it. Hmm. Oh, just leafing through. Okay. Oh, no, sorry. I, I guess by that, I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be reading it, oh, not just gonna leafing through. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to read it. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> I want to roll a D100. <laughs> yeah, you want to try a drink? <laughs> yeah. Let's try a drink. Roll me a D100. Ninety-two. Dang, Ooh, we're all right. our good, all our good okay. rolls going. Yeah, we're we're killing it right when it's not necessary. Yeah. You get a very tall glass of something. It's called the hook and slider, and uh, <laughs> it I'll t- yeah, doesn't. I'll take a little sippy. I'll. When you take a little sip, you notice inside there is some 
bits of creature. You can't quite tell what it is, but hmm. something that was once living is no longer living, but uh, apparently sitting in there as if it were, you know, like a, like a lemon or something, but it's definitely some sort of animal flesh. Well, so it's just like a piece. It's not like a full little guy in there. No, no, it's just a piece. Hmm. All right, circle of life, I guess. <laughs> and yeah, give me a Constitution save. Con save, yay! Uh, huh. uh I probably save. Okay, yes. Uh, the taste is definitely something meaty, which you would not expect from a drink. However, nope. the next time you have to make. A dexterity relating skill check, i.e., sleight of hand, stealth, acrobatics, you have advantage on it. Oh, sweet. Let me just note that down. <laughs> and the elven woman is surprised at your ability to stomach this drink. She notes oh. that it's an experimental one, more popular with, uh, with kind of goblinoids than more, you know, non goblinoids, but surprised that you are able to hold it down. I don't want to know what that implies. <laughs> cool. All right, I for think I'm going to not trivia, drink much more uh, of that. Goblinoids in this world are no are well known for their hearty, meaty dishes. Hmm. Mm. They're a very protein-focused yeah. cuisine. Yeah, this feels like I basically just got a tall glass of chicken soup, uh, <laughs> but. All right, cool. My curiosity is sated. <laughs> and I'm not even dead. Yippee. Hmm. Anything else you guys wish to do, or are you just going to pass the time with some small talk? I think we're hanging out. Well, just I'm hanging, hanging out. out. Uh, All right. Well, while you're hanging out and just kind of making small talk, maybe enjoying yourselves, uh, the conductor, the human conductor, comes out from the engine room to greet you all. And uh, he waves to you all and comes over to your booth. Greetings, <laughs> pilgrims. Pleasure. Hello. And uh, he kind of uh, gives you a nice hearty smile. There he is. Aww. He's a good old boy. Name's Chris, Thank you for letting me toot that horn. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I'm glad to finally be able to hear it. The name's Byron, and I'll be your conductor for this trip. And might I just say, it is an honor and a privilege to have been selected by the good dragon himself, as well as having the pleasure to deliver you to the next destination. Well, it's a rare treat. Oh, I'm a big fan of the, the, the saviors of Satya. <laughs> Massive fan, I, I should say. <laughs> uh, in <laughs> fact, um, I'd say, I, I couldn't uh, bother you to, to perhaps maybe... Sign, sign something for me. I would be more than happy to. Ooh, here, he hands you his little wrench and uh, <laughs> gives you what looks to be like a an etching wand. Uh, Heck yeah. That's uh, Byron, uh, B-Y-R-O-N. Uh, okay. I just write God King Word all the way up one side of it. So, <laughs> I recall that Word can't read. Oh, that's right. I can't. I, I, so I, I try and like convey the idea by drawing a picture of myself, and I'll scribble it out. And I'll like, I'll be like, "Those scribblings are for me." Oh well, it is quite an honor, Mister Word. And uh, so, how y'all liking the trade? It's luxurious. Mm. Comfy. At our best, people working on it. I look up from the book. I got a question. You're are you driving this thing? Do you need to be is someone at the wheel or the reins of this or <clears throat> Oh yeah, I'm the head and I make sure that it's running smoothly, but I got a couple of helpers whenever I need to take a walk around and check in on my passengers. Hmm. Don't you worry your little heads. So how fast is this thing supposed to be going? Like when are we gonna get there? Uh mighty fast. We'll get there in just a couple of hours compared to a couple of days that it would usually be on foot. That is good to hear. And why, uh, if for something that's that efficient, I mean, why is it that this mode of transportation fell out of favor with the rest of the country? He crosses his arms and sighs and looks down, a very familiar look about uh, that you've seen ever too often whenever speaking of a certain province. <laughs> well, it's that. 
Now, I never speak ill of someone so high in power, but that Lord Nicholas Tejero, he has done a lot of lobbying to make sure this thing doesn't get up and running for whatever reason. He says that it'll mess up the precious economy that they've got going and the balance of commerce or whatever, but I say to hell with that. We're bringing people closer together faster, and this man is just thinking about lying in his pockets. That don't sit too right with me. Well, hopefully we'll be able to do something about that when we get there. Uh, be careful, pilgrims. That man's real high up in power, even as a lord. And so are we. Have you seen us? And I gesture to, like, someone reading a romance novel. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fritz, who's, like, a little buzzed. <laughs> just Lyra like, just, like, quietly shakes her head us. when word can't see. <laughs> we can do anything. Ah, anything you say. Well, I'd like to challenge Do you that. have a challenge? Oh, oh boy. I would. In fact, yes, word. I would like to see how much you know about this locomotive. Uh, yes, right. word. How uh, much do you know about this locomotive? <laughs> Everything. I know that it's moving and that it'll get us there in uh, two, three, two hours. Ah, learned scholar, are you? Give me a... Uh, <laughs> Give me an intelligence check word. <laughs> okay. Word Just a flat read. intelligence. <laughs> flat intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> it's so beautiful. <laughs> what do I know? What do you know, word? How about you tell okay. me what a man <laughs> would make, empty. You make word believe he knows? <laughs> Word sort of like puffs out his chest and like raises his chin and he looks around inspecting the vehicle and he says, well, obviously we're seated on a bunch of little bugs that run really fast on the rails. And I know that the dragon, when he did his little thing, he just scared him and made him go real fast. And each of these carts, I think they're connected by some kind of like hard dirt. You can see. And, uh, <laughs> and I like go over to the engine room, and this uh, does something really important. I think it has something to do with the bar. Maybe it like has all the drink recipes in it. <laughs> oh well, I am. St I'm. St I'll let you know now, Mister Word. I'm shaking in my boots that you're getting ready to steal my job. I'll like point to the. I'll try to get the wait uh, the uh, bartender's attention, and I'll be like point to word, trying to indicate to like cut him off from like <laughs> getting anything else. Oh, it's it, no it shame. Just... Uh, it's no shame, sir, not knowing stuff. Here, I'll show you a few things. And he actually takes you to the engine room. Uh, anyone who wishes to follow as well, and he's going to teach you how to use the train. Ooh, wait, that sounds like it might be important later. You you were close enough, I think. I'm okay. curious about the train. Because he said, like, mm -hmm. I'm just going to say it was stay. cute that I didn't know anything. I thought I, thought I was, like, spot Buck, on. Buck, you can finish my drink if you want. Uh, that's all right. I'll just, I'll watch it. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, seeing as you do lack the knowledge about the train, he is going to teach you, in case of emergency, how to operate the barest essentials of the engine. And uh, as he is explaining it, I'm going to need everyone who's participating to give me an insight check on based on how much you can understand what he's explaining. Inside check. hi -ya. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. Oh. Pretty good. Nice. <laughs> Guess I'm a train fanatic. All right. Amongst, <laughs> amongst you all, not only do you understand his instru in instructions to their fullest extent, you actually come to some ideas of how you can improve the train, make it more efficient, some more potential, like, ideas and such uh, to add even that maybe me? they didn't consider. Yes, even, well, With maybe you, you, get, <laughs> you try to give, but like you combined the party now understands how to operate without much trouble, uh, but the input really came from Fritz and Word. I guess I've worked They're on definite. boats before. Boats, trains, you know, same difference. I think Lara was like, time. oh, this will be cool. Oh, that's way more buttons than I expected. <laughs> Look, you just need like a little coffee maker here with like a panini press. <laughs> and, uh, it'll be more efficient in general because you'll get more work done. You won't be. Yeah, like Starts drawing writing. on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee maker goes here. <laughs> yeah, the helpers are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And a vending machine could go there. <laughs> yeah. That helps the economy. And uh, yeah, Byron is actually impressed at your guys' quick ability to pick up on information. 
Conductor Fritz. Think about it. <laughs> I imagine Fritz is like, well, if I think of the air as water, there's still like restraints and restrictions. This is work on boats. Would this work for you? And then they start info dumping about boats and then they're like, yeah. why are boats and trains <laughs> so similar? <laughs> <laughs> It's just like we just really out of rails. character, really smart information about ships. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, you guys learn just basic, basic how to operate it. You uh, learn that it doesn't actually run on coal like other trains, that it runs on either arcane crystals that are found in Politrios, kind of similar to coal, except without the same kind of, you know... Um, output it exhausts ambient arcane energy out instead of you know the traditional uh soot oh. and smoke mm -hmm. and as friendly. a substitute because it runs on arcane energy a blast of magic can actually uh propel this thing a little bit as well if it's running on fumes hmm. so it it's not it has there's nothing to do with like spiders or beetles <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately not though that does sound quite exciting Word tries to hide his, his embarrassment. <laughs> Honestly, Word, I would think a large centipede would be more efficient anyway. More That's legs what I was per thinking. bug. <laughs> I thought that, you know, because centipedes are just a bunch of beetles in a row, I thought that it would be uh, like, you know, a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what's this lever do? Oh, oh. Whoa, hold that. <laughs> he, he goes up to just kind of like... Uh, <laughs> push Stop me you! Yeah, he, he just puts a hand in front of you. Hold on there. That uh, that lever is the means of uh, the train's ability to protect itself. Mm -hmm. Old Sergey hooked this up with a catalyst that can project some kind of barrier akin to a mage armor over the entire thing. Ooh. And if it if things get really hairy, we can even detonate said mage armor to toss off any would-be stragglers. I just oh, hope boy. that y'all stay inside when that happens. <laughs> it would lose us so. a barrier. It would lose us the barrier for a few hours while the catalyst has to cool down, but it's mighty handy in a pinch. A talon graces the lever but does not pull no. it. <laughs> <laughs> We're still working on trying to make sure that it's a thing that we can use regularly, but for now it's one and done until we can get better repairs and upgrades to this thing. Uh. But this is just a test run. This will give us more information that we need that will help us fix it up in the future. Hmm. Hmm. Count me as excited and ready to pull that whenever something goes down. <laughs> well, hopefully it don't come to that. <laughs> <clears throat> but once again, welcome aboard. Y'all make yourselves at home. Thank you. And if you ever need anything, I'll be up here with my helpers. Of course. Sweet. All right, you learned about the train and its magic barrier. Ooh. So anything else you guys wish to do in your spare time? When you I guys actually... are coming. Oh, yeah, Fritz. I was going to say when you guys when you guys are coming back in, uh I'm, I'm like I'm going through the book. I'm like, "Did you guys learn about the bugs or <laughs> Surprisingly, no bugs are involved. Yeah, it turns out this model doesn't really benefit from a bunch of beetles. I was, I was wrong. It's just this model? Is is that what they told you? <laughs> well, I mean, you know. You know what I mean. I, 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 <laughs> sure. <laughs> word, yeah, <laughs> I, I know what you mean. I go back to read. <laughs> um, I'd actually like to go back to where the cart is stored and just see if I can figure out anything else about the, the ward, the rune thing that I dispelled last session. Mm, um you yeah, you can give me maybe an arcana yeah. check to draw upon your knowledge of the arcane that you might know. Oh, yes. The <laughs> famously intelligent-based casters, druids are. <laughs> oh, okay, sure. Okay. You know that uh, this thing... So what kind of information specifically are trying to recall like, or, or well, try and figure out? So, so my hunch is that the fact that the crystals on the back blew out was an intentional bit of like booby trapping because dispel magic is only supposed to target a single effect and so it, it seems to me like whoever designed this perhaps was a obviously a, a skilled major artificer or something like that but also specifically designed it so that if the rune were dispelled 
it would uh, hamper our ability to make progress, potentially alert them. Like, I, I want to know how much trouble we just got into, basically. Yeah. Uh, so like, that, how many alarms or whatever. With an arcana, uh, with an arcane check of uh, 18, you, like, that, you are for sure, you're certain that that is, like, the truth. That whoever made this definitely wanted to keep track of you. And if they no longer could keep track of you, they wanted to make sure that you had trouble. Like, this basically mm. confirms your theory that, you know, the, that the crystals holding this together and the arcane sigil meant to track you was bundled together on purpose. Um, Great. But w for whatever reasons, potentially, uh, who's to say? But you know that that was a deliberate design embedded into this thing. Um, hmm. And whoever may have uh, put that probably would know that that tracking is gone now as well and would be alerted uh, yeah. for sure. I would assume at minimum that they wouldn't, if they're not getting updates on our location anymore, they yeah. probably With, can guess. Yeah. yeah, that arcana is high enough that basically I'm confirming, yes, that's exactly what happened. Perfect. Uh, I guess I want to give a cart one more once over just in case I missed any other suspicious little bugs. Uh, all words talk of bugs had me a little worried. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah, no, searching it over, uh, using the uh, lamp of true sight as well, you don't seem to s find anything else. That thing was very deliberately hidden with an invisibility spell of some kind. Um, okay. And it was the only one, really. Great. Seems to be well, bug free. Fantastic. Then uh, <laughs> maybe I'll maybe I'll check uh, efficiency with the lantern too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just just cause we also got him from uh, from what's his face so you check efficiency and you see that there is an invisible branding you know how you know we can physically oh. brand animals and true as uh, recognizable as it can be you can see that the brand is the same kind of sigil that you've seen on Lucy's <laughs> one the house best hand branded right how? on the butt of this horse my goodness my condolences efficiency um it's not like a. It's not another magic tracking device, as far as I can tell, is it? No, I'll, I'll let you keep that Arcana check for this. No, it is just like a magical brand, something a lot Thanks. easier, less painful for the animal. Of course. Oh, all right, that's better then. Yeah. Great. But okay. Still hidden. Cool. <laughs> yep. All right. We'll pat, and then I'll go back to join the others at the bar. Boop. And when you do. And mm -hmm. time, time goes on. You guys hang out for a bit. And you hear a familiar voice from behind the bar call out to you. Mm -hmm. And his name is Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> the Ew. dust passes us by, clouding no our vision. <laughs> But ever so do I remain vigilant, pilgrims. I'm actually scared right now. <laughs> we, uh, I knew uh, she was formidable. Look around. It sounds like she's, she's outside or behind the bar. Behind the bar. She <laughs> like pokes crouching. up. You can see that the two bodies poke up as a humanoid dressed in red and armor, as well as a dog just full of hair. <laughs> Leap up behind the bar, standing on top of it. Tis I, La Destructora, the Destroyer, and my hellhound, El Coco. Your doom is imminent, and now there is no escape. I throw so my the, empty uh, mug at her. The bartender is uh, reacting yeah, yeah. how? She, the bartender just like puts two hands above on her mouth and, oh my goodness, it's La Destructora. Help me, pilgrims! <laughs> and what? kind of acting it out badly, of course. Aww. How many people are in on this? <laughs> Everyone but us. The conspiracy is everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm hucking my mug. You huck your mug and she <laughs> yeah. catches it midair. Oh! oh! <gasps> and gently lays it on one of the shelves. Oh. That one's on me. Polite. <laughs> <laughs> the only thirst that can quench me, pilgrims, is your doom. No. Uh, you! Right. She points to you, Buck. Bugbear. Uh, but hold on. Let me put. I know <laughs> no, I'm putting the book away. Hold on. Sorry. Yes. Pull the uh, corner down. 
La, la Destructora. You truly wish to know who I am? After our last encounter, you disrespected me. It, I would... You do would that? Uh, well, I would do anything to learn the true identity of our sworn rival. Rival? I would have gone with Nemesis, but Narvel. Nemesis. Ne nemesis. Nemesis. Don't disregard the dog. Uh, <laughs> not disregarding the dog. Nemesis. <laughs> then face me one last time, pilgrims. And I oh. truly, truly mean this. Hold nothing back. Show me what you are made of. Huh. Yo. Can I do insight? Are, are they serious <laughs> about what they want us to do? Because I feel like they've done this before. You can give me an insight. Yeah, have they? You oh. know that this time, La Destructora is serious. She <gasps> wants a real fight. I'll like look the, back at Fritz and uh, Larry Ward. To the Ward. rooftop we go. <laughs> no, I've got this. And uh, you can see are? the elven lady just kind of uh, pulls a wand and La Destructora jumps from the uh, behind the bar up kind of in front <laughs> along with El Coco. <laughs> and El Coco's just gonna get in one of the seats and watch. Aww. <laughs> and the elven woman pulls a wand that seems to put some kind of arcane barrier over the back of the bar so as to not oh. break any of the drinks. <laughs> Aww. Okay, Smart. that's all I was worried about. And I'm gonna need everyone <laughs> to roll initiative. Woo! Oh <laughs> Most of my high power things are a little collateral damagey. <laughs> and we're on a very nice train. <laughs> oh, wait, that's is why this, this is the test room. I have fire. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's, the, the, the train is sealed. There we go. And La Destructora, you notice that she doesn't have her tr old spear. She pulls out a sword, a great sword Ooh. of some kind. Is it also made of cardboard? It is not. This looks like okay, a genuine cool. sword made of steel. A long Ooh. sword. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'll take out Big Blind if that's oh, like you. <laughs> I'm like looking back at Lara and Word and Fritz like, uh, guys, I think this is serious. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm putting on a bandit mask and a feathered hat. <laughs> this is as serious as this is going to get. I oh, do I still... Have, I was gonna say I'll throw on my. I think I still have my acolyte uh, mask. I can put that <laughs> <Yeah>. on. <laughs> Wait, are we dressing up as the bandits? <laughs> I am. <laughs> I'm I'll join. Okay, I'm, I'll pull up my little mask thing. Like, I got. I got to draw my mask. We're the bandits now. <laughs> I'm still savoring my pink drink from before. <laughs> and La Destructora kind of does a, a hand on. wave as kind of a dim light emanates from her and stomps her foot, boom. Two hands on her sword. Get ready, pilgrims. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I covered my eye a little bit, but I'm good. <laughs> so first up, getting right. Fritz. Can't move this. All right, if she's really being serious, then I'll be serious too. Let's see, I'm going to cast. Get you the old, old TV that's touch, that's touch, that's touch. I'm going to cast Hill of Thorns. Ooh, alright. On my next bow action, and I'm going to shoot her with bow. So if I remember correctly, I do this. And then there we go. this. Okay, unfortunately, uh, that shot is not going to hit as she parries the crossbow bolt out of the sky with her nice oh, parry. with her sword. Pitting. I'm like, yo, nice parry. <laughs> and uh, that doesn't waste your hail of thorns though, because your hail of thorns is the next time you land an attack. So mm -hmm. that will keep going until you do. Where was she when we had to do that pro wrestling gimmick in the Coliseum? <laughs> I think We're repeating it. I still have my stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I've got my done. my acolyte mask. All right. Uh, you do have two attacks. Remember? Oh, I thought because I used a spell, I don't get two attacks. Well, your spell no, is you on get... a bonus action. Oh you yeah, get two I attacks keep per it. attack Sorry. action. Yeah. Yeah. I keep yeah, I keep forgetting it's, it's all a bonus good. action. Yeah, you have two attacks per <laughs> action. All right. She right. parries right. the first one. The second one <laughs> kind of lodges into her shoulder, and the hail of thorns. She's gonna have to make a save on. And the Hail of Thorns 
goes off just few, 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 into various different parts of kind of around her. Doesn't hit anybody else, but it's an additional damage. Mm. And she just kind of holds her sword in a defensive position. She seems as though she hasn't flinched at all, despite the fact that she just took a crossbow bolt to the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Strong, and that's my turn ended. That's your turn, all right. La Destructora gets herself ready, and she lowers her sword down in a kind of horizontal pointing motion. Mm. El Coco is not my only companion. I hope you are ready to taste the might of the light. And she is going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. She summons a bright long sword, a uh, great sword rather, very similar to the one that she's holding that appears between Fritz and Word. Oh. And it is going oh, okay. to slash at you, Fritz. Okay. What do I need to roll? Uh, unfortunately, it does miss. You do dodge. I mean, oh. fortunately for you, anyway. You dodge out of the way. <laughs> and La Destructora is going to hop up onto the seats, stepping kind of over them all, and passing El Coco, giving him a pet as she passes by. Uh, and stepping over the, oh. the seats and tables and comes over here and is going Hello. to slash at you, Buck. Ooh. <laughs> Lara, help! <laughs> I need to finish my drink first. <laughs> <laughs> and I will allow you this privilege, for it may be your last. Slash, oh, slash, and you buck. <laughs> okay. And uh, both of them are going to hit. Okay. And you are going to take... Ooh. You're going to take a 14 damage. Ooh, jeez. As she okay. takes two switch slashes at you that you are a little bit exhausted by. And slashes that seem oddly familiar to you. Mm. Not only that, but Leira, this is a very familiar situation to you as well. You've also encountered someone with a massive sword who sta stood by you, t almost towering over you as well. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember, but I don't think really? I Really? Yeah, you have. I. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. This is an easy memory, actually. It's really obvious. Yeah, very obvious. Timing. Anyway, it's Buck's turn now. <laughs> hmm. Uh, I will rage. All right. So let me. I should have taken that sword when I had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> let me rage. Let me pull out one of my uh, cards here. I'm trying to figure out how to open up the the wild surge table. Give me one sec. Uh, here we go. This should be it. Ooh, shadowy tendrils. All right. Hey. Uh, so I will. Uh, only choose. I won't choose the dog. <laughs> I'll just. I'll just choose her. Okay. Uh, one d twelve. All right. Constitution. I will gain. I will gain six to temp HP. Okay. The tentacle lashes out. Uh, but she just tanks it. Oh. It kind of whips her in the chest, but she doesn't move. She still is a rock. Can I try to um wait, hold on. What is the what is the spell save DC actually? A thir 13. 13. Okay, yeah, she makes it. Uh I was like she she rolled an 18, but I'll just make sure just in case. I will let me let me just do uh do an, uh, two attacks on her. All right, two attacks. I'm not going to attack recklessly for the first one. Okay, first one That's hits. 17. 17. It's 17 as well. Yeah. As well. So, first one hits, and then I'll do... Okay, yeah, both so of those hit as you boosh, boosh, bash her left and right, kind of both side to side, and she almost loses her balance off of uh, the top of the chair, actually. That's what you get for showboating. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I can push her, so she's going to. Oh, fall, okay. Take fall, <laughs> Because I've got the uh, the crusher feet, so I can move her five feet to an unoccupied space. Okay. So can I just like push her over, like down here, on the table? Yeah, if that's possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You push her onto the table, and she. Whoa! Let me make her okay, make a dexterity a saving throw because she's got to keep her balance. Yeah, she does. She kind of uh, steps on one of the kind of decorative. Uh, just kind of little napkins on the table, unfortunately, and flattens it. But she's able to hold her balance. Aww. 
I'm gonna say... Let's have this battle somewhere a little more interesting. And then I'm oh, gonna try no. and... <laughs> how much movement? I think I have 40 feet of movement. Uh, 50, 50 feet of movement. So can I, how do I get up on the roof here? So, it's just gonna, I mean, <laughs> go it's just gonna, it's gonna have, yeah, I know, but I'm trying to figure out, so we go out here. So I didn't draw where it here, I, but there are two doors, this is the two side doors here. Uh, oh, this, okay. This dark gray is just like the side of so the train with here. railing and you can climb up to the top. It takes no additional movement as there is a ladder. So 40, so, and it would be, doop, so that would be, so I can be here with my movement. Oh, can you? Well, I have 50 feet of movement. Ah, all right. I have, if, you, uh, if you do have 50, then yes. Yeah, because I have... Uh, what's my trait? I think I have the mobile feet. Yeah, I have the mobile feet. So I have 50 feet of movement. Yes. Okay. Well, then. She is going to use a legendary action at that taunt. Uh. And she's going to chase you down. I accept your challenge. And she's going to uh, use her uh, reaction okay. to move. And chase you down. Don't get too cocky. Well, I'm gonna. My first plan. Mess I think. With her. I think actually I have five more feet, so I'll move there. She isn't able to make so, it all the way though, but yeah. she does make it outside. I don't know why this thing says square here, but <laughs> that's an attack of opportunity for me though. Is it? Mm, yes, it she is. She was on the table. She was on the table. Went, you yeah. get an attack of opportunity. And hey, is that also an attack of opportunity for me? It, it I never use these. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so I get advantage with this because I have pack tactics and Layra was uh, next to her. Oh. I think sneak attack is once per turn. Yes. I, I do think I get so? so I don't get that on a reaction? Or let me see. I guess a reaction isn't on my turn, so I probably not. Sneak attack reaction. Do rogues get sneak attack damage on reaction? Uh yes. Ooh, okay. Then yeah, that's five piercing damage, four fire damage, and 13 sneak attack damage Holy as she is evades my area. Dang. You do a massive cut that just like chops off pieces, chunks of her cardboard armor actually, and almost trips her up <laughs> as she's trying to run out the door. All right, You're and my considerably less impressive attack. <laughs> okay, 16 hit. A 16 does hit. Oh my goodness, this is so fun. <laughs> wow, max damage on my scimitar, the wow. first time I've ever used it. <laughs> yeah, you slice it and you guys hit her so hard yeah. as she's running out the door that she actually kind of like bashes it into ah. the wall a little bit. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like, kind of bumping into stuff as she's running out. Huh. Just stumbling a little bit, being slapped about by two people. I wonder if Elias knows about this. <clears throat> but yes, word. <laughs> Oh, 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 it's your actual turn now. <laughs> she shouldn't have challenged God King Word, and I like doth all of my things. I leave them behind. <laughs> Runs off in a cloud of yeah. smoke. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> like a cartoon character who leaves their eyes behind for a couple seconds. Oh shoot! I can't quite get around there, so I'll I'll use this as I guess like half cover, and then I'll try and do uh, just a short bow attack on her. Okay. I can't reach her. Ooh, Aha. nice. All right. Yeah, you short bow, and it does uh, another arrow into her. She's chasing down this bugbear. <laughs> you leaving the fight? That's that's uh, really going to be my turn. I don't have any crazy bonus actions. Okay. Oh. Layra. My mustache got bigger. All right. The geometry of this fight has confused me somewhat. She's on the outside of the train now? Yes, she is. So the dark gray oh, okay. is like the outside of the train where the railing would be, you know, where you can like, gotcha, kind of Gotcha, gotcha. Um, is there like an openable window at the booth that I'm currently in? <laughs> uh, yes, I would say. All right. I'd like to I'd like to crack it open mm -hmm. and I'd like to stick my hand outside and cast call lightning. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. She said we shouldn't hold back. <laughs> finishes right. finishes T uses oh. does 20 damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, she needs to make a DC 14 dex save uh, and I think she takes half if she fails. Let me check that. If she succeeds, you mean? Uh, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm gonna say uh, we don't yeah, need to paint the area successful. of call lightning because it's big enough to cover the train, basically, the cart Thanks. that you're in. Yeah. Is it, is, now is the lightning gonna get off the metal and hurt me at all? Cause... <laughs> I don't know. So this um, big, massive 
rod of lightning just zaps down from the sky, boom, right on her. And you just hear kind of under her breath, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one who said don't hold back. I know, but oh my gosh, pilgrims these days, they grow you different now. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. <laughs> All right, Fritz, your turn. <laughs> Lyra. It's been too scary for us to just mess around. Yes? Do you think I could fit through that? Uh, there's a door I right here if you want to go out. Oh, there's I didn't door. realize there was a door right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, I didn't draw uh, it. I'm not, my mistake. Yeah. But yeah, there oh, is a well, side door there. Oh, but it would be so cool to jump out the window and fly up. <laughs> do it. I, will let I don't you, know if you want to be mm, racing the train. I'll let you do it with, with an acrobatics speed. check. Don't even what open the window. Just burst through it. Do I do I try to be cool? I I feel like I've got to put on a performance with them, right? I'm jumping out the window. <laughs> All right. Hey. Give me an acrobatics. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, come no, on. don't die. <laughs> We're going so fast. You just go fly <laughs> behind us. It'll take you a day to get back to us. <laughs> oh, what are with no. my acrobatics? Oh, no. This is a plus six. <laughs> you try to fly, you try to fit Slam yourself. Slam against the wall. <laughs> I'm like, can I not fit through the window? <laughs> you try, so you could possibly fit through the window. It's a tight squeeze, but you just boop into the wall. Just like a bird, yeah. And no. you don't take any damage, but you do, you can't quite fit in one swift movement. You're going to have to take oh. the, the normal way around. I tried. Okay, wait, how much more <laughs> movement? So that was 20... Uh, the walk of shame. 20 to go back, 40. Yeah, you can use your action to dash if you want to just, like, <clears throat> run back uh, up. I'm trying to work out where, like, what is considered the way up. So basically, uh, this light gray, that's, like, just an abstraction that this is the wall of the train, essentially. You know, like, okay. and these blue things I... are the windows that are facing inwards. I will cast Long Street. That gives me 10 movement. Yeah, trying to make a 3D mind. space of a 2D world is a, mm. yeah, a little no, difficult. No, no. Uh, let me do long. What am I? Baldur's Gate 3? So. <laughs> the yeah. hit video game Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> what? The hit. Oh, the one? That one? DD? Wait, I forget. What does dash do again? Sorry, I don't know. Dash see doubles that. your it, movement speed. It costs an action, though. Oh, then. It uses your action to move your movement again, basically. Yeah. I will do dash instead of long stride because long stride would take up a spell slot. Okay. Uh, even though it's an action. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you have uh, um, 40 dashing. movement left if you wish to. Yeah. Just o slide open the door <laughs> and climb up. So this in total was 70 movement. Uh Oh, that's Makes right. Sense. Because your ranger thing gives you five additional. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't think I have anything to do with both this action. Uh. Unless I want to cast Hail of Thorns again for my next attack. I mean, your your Hail of Thorns is still on because you. Oh wait, no, never mind. You no, uh, because you, no, you hit. did land. Yeah. Right. Yep. Uh, uh, you could. You still have a bonus action. Yeah. You know what? Hail of Thorns. You Getting said ready for the next attack. Back. Yes. All right. I don't cast it until it hits, right? Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> you can cast it now if you so wish, but it doesn't go off until you it, you hit something. Uh, I'll just cast it now. Okay. Just for the sake of. All right, okay. now it's La Destructora's turn. And uh, she looks back in the train and just uh, calls out, El Coco, attack! And El Coco looks over at you, Lyra, and just goes, Boof. <laughs> Formidable. And she is going to command the spiritual weapon to go up to you, Word, and it's going to try and slash at you. ruh -ro. Ooh, yes, and it's gonna slash at you once, and you are gonna take five damage. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and reduce that to two. Ah, all right, yes. Uh -huh. Hold out your dagger to parry. However, the force of, of the uh, swing does still hurt a little bit. La Destructora is going to climb up the ladder, and you can see she's huffing and puffing. <laughs> oh, I'm getting too old for this. Hmm. Oh, she holds up one hmm. finger uh, in front of you, Buck. Just like, uh, just give me a moment. Whew. And she's going to give a chant, and she's going to cast Healing Word on herself. With her bonus action. Well, now I feel less bad about hitting her with lightning. <laughs> and uh, you, she just takes a moment to get a breather. 
Okay, I'm ready. And she takes her <laughs> great sword to take a couple of more swings at you, Buck. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. So her first swing, you're able to parry out of the way with big blind. Her second swing, she swings it, and her grip loosens. Oh no. And her sword goes flying a little bit, just teetering right over here. She rolled a nat one. <laughs> I was gonna oh, say. Man. Oh, there you go. And she kind of looks at the sword, looks back at you, Buck. It is no matter. I can defeat you with my bare hands. And it's your turn. <laughs> now it's your turn, Buck. I'll uh, I'll take Big Blind and I'll put it like on the holster that I have for it on the back, and I'll like take my hat and put it down because it has the string, so it's not flying off. And then I'll punch punch them in the face. <laughs> fisticuffs! Oh, fisticuffs! Let's make an unarmed strike. Unarmed strike. And you know what? We're going to attack recklessly. Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Please don't punch uh, her off the train. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. Lady luck, baby. I was at five plus. I can't tell what the... It uh, doesn't look strike. like it. Let's see. Just roll no, I think a It's a five. crit, so it's like I don't, a bunch. There's no, there's no weapon dice to roll, so I don't are think it, oh, like it knows what, what to... Are you proficient with unarmed strikes? I don't know if that's a thing that you can be. I, I'm proficient no. in all weapons. It's like a monk thing. Is your strength and... modifier plus four? Uh, yes. Okay. Then yes, yeah, it's then just five plus four. Okay, so. so just so be five damage was how much it would be, and then I don't know another okay. five because it's crit. I, like it's up to you. Uh, there, it, I'm not rolling double dice, so it's well. Oh, that's the thing about unarmed strikes is they don't roll dice unless you're a monk. Exactly. Um, yeah. Right. right. But they it's just, just use their strength modifier. So I'm just yeah, gonna say the strength the modifier is doubled, so. It's just a free um, 10. Free 10. So nine damage. Yeah, you boosh, and you can see that her cardboard mask just like scrunches. And um, you've completely ruined it. I, no. I wanna say as well that because it's, uh, because I have the crusher feet and I did a, it's still bludgeoning damage that I'm doing, so <laughs> oh, I'd no. still, it's it's advantage on attacks against her until uh, the start of my next turn. Oh, oh okay. okay. So it's not knocking her back five feet. <laughs> oh, no, I do knock her back five feet no! as well. No! <laughs> okay. Is it, so you do have uh, a second attack. I'll let you get that one off before you knock her back five feet. Is she, is she look, or does the, do they look like they're like still up? Like, are we still, they still want to keep going? Uh, They look pretty rough. Here, I'll put you a can, little, yeah, you, can, you can call it here if you want. I <laughs> never surrender. I punch, I'll punch him again. <laughs> punch them uh, again with advantage. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, you gotta find the, gotta deal with advantage. Okay. Yeah, you punch her one more time. Poof, and you want to push her off, you said? Uh, so I don't want to push. I don't want to push them off. Uh, I won't. I will choose not to do that. I will keep them on the roof with okay. me. Okay. And right. but can I can I move them back here because I have bugbear arms, so I can still hit them yes. from five. <laughs> you push her back. <laughs> She's a little dazed, and uh, she is going to use a legendary action to fall on the ground dramatically. Yay! <laughs> well done. You have, for the final time, defeated La Destructora. I'm gonna get the sword. Oh yeah, that's gonna help, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. I'll grab the sword and I'll walk over uh, to, uh... Oh! Oh, did we win? I'll, I'll, I'll put the sword to their throat. Oh! Whoa! Whoa. But I think uh, like cool style, right? Yeah, but cool style. But he let the, Lara yells that out from the back. But do it cool style. I'm doing it. I'm doing it too intensely, and Lara's like, "No, do it cool." Stage fighting. Ha. Stage fighting. I now we you, you have we been will training. That's correct. And now we will finally learn your true identity. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna turn away. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Is it Peter Parker? Well, I'll pull word. I'll pull word up. <laughs> so we're oh, yeah. up too. All right, my mustache resets again. Before you do, pilgrims, I want you to know that was the most fun I've had since my last pilgrimage. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Shakyus. Oh. Now 
I'm interested. Like, Hold yeah, on, I'm yeah. looking back. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, huh? I'll move the sword and then reach a hand out to help them up. She takes her hand and pulls herself up, and uh, she kind of waves an incantation over herself. You can tell that it's some kind of disguised self of some kind, but it's just things holding the cardboard together as they all kind of fall mm-hmm. apart. The various pieces of her costume dissipate, and her helmet is removed to reveal a very familiar satyr face. Yay. Oh my gosh! No it way! Is it. <laughs> you. I'll give. I'll give them their sword back. I can only assume Elias knows about this. <laughs> well, uh, yes, I bid him farewell before I left Satya. Hmm. Why? <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Why? You, why are you doing this? This is like a game for you. Or well, it originally just... was before I found out that uh, things are a bit more serious than I anticipated. But after losing to you all, I realized that uh, well, I'm not pilgrim anymore. And after so many decades, this was the first time I wasn't going to visit all the provinces. And well, I just couldn't keep myself away. So I. Took a bunch of my savings, uh, planned out my trip to see all of Alinthi one last time, and donned La Destructora, who was um, someone that we encountered in one of our pilgrims in a few years past, but so was so what? infamously incompetent that uh, she became some somewhat of a running joke amongst uh, the people of Alinthi. La Destructora was real, and you stole her bit. Well. So, th- so there's been a La Destructora for other pilgrims. Well, for me, once, a long time ago, but uh, more of a and ruffian, you took really. took a down and you took a name. This is fascinating. Which Can one of us will off- have to take off the mantle let's when we're get done? Off- let's get off the top of the train now. I'm also, I'm very nervous. <laughs> I, I, I did it for the bit, but I want to get down now. Oh, please. no, it was <laughs> great showmanship. You must have picked uh, up a few things from the bowl of uh, Nuba Sky. I was just, I really just thought to myself, what would Word do in a situation like this? And just follow. I gotta go get my hat. A dangerous yeah, game that- to play. <laughs> yeah, never, never do that ethically. <laughs> Yeah. But yes, you can see that uh, she is very much enjoying herself. She is grinning ear to ear uh, at f- seeing you guys once again. Aww. <laughs> Are you okay? I mean, I'm sorry I hit you so hard. And... Oh, yeah, I've been doing this for uh, how many decades now? I don't even know. But um, I think it was good. It was a good show of your strength. And honestly, I was hoping that you'd kick the snot out of me. It's an honor. <laughs> Yeah, I almost cut your heel like wide open. Ah, that's I'm all right. Surprised you can walk. I, I did a little bit of the same. I, I do apologize for the secrecy. Uh, I just always love the classic evil villain roles in theater. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. And she looks over at me, and I'm wearing my bandit mask, <laughs> <laughs> big feathered hat. She gives oh, you a thumbs up. Mustache. Love the outfit. <laughs> Thank you. I do too. My goodness. But yeah, I also wanted to check in regularly to see how my successors were doing. I wasn't really expecting you to have a rough time with the blot on the way to Politrios, honestly. Yeah, do you know about, like, the the big, like, eight-foot-tall one that we had to fight? Eight-foot-tall? Uh, no. It could, like, talk. That one only ambushed us when we were, for the most part, alone or dealing with pirates. Ah. I've definitely encountered a few large kind of clumps of blot, but never really tall ones. Can't say I'm yeah, familiar. Like dude. Do you think it found us because of that tracking sigil? The tracking I think sigil. it found us because we were carrying the hearts. Oh, we took care of the tracking sigil. It's all right. So. That's right. They keep find going after you. A well, fun little present from Trevisetta. Yes, well, suppose, I suppose we'll have to stress test that. It's possible they just don't like me for some reason. Oh, that could be true. Trevisetta. Mm-hmm. Well, it is good to see you all alive at the very least, and not too hurt. We've definitely lost a few pilgrims in the past, so this is a best-case scenario as far as I'm concerned. Oh, that's If we ever go six feet under, we come right back up. That? Mm, no. Well, we, we fell We fell down a pit, and now oh, we're back above grass. Yes. Sure. That was considerably right. further than six feet. I'm sure a necromancer can do the same, but I don't know if I would be happy about that. Me neither. Some clerics can too. 
It is rather strange that we've been encountering the blot rather more aggressively than it seems any prior pilgrim has. Seems so. They're usually just there sometimes, just as weather is sometimes there, but not in concentrations like this. And I don't suppose it's ever shown any sign of intelligence before, either? Never. Not to me, in my travels. Hmm. But here, oh, maybe hey. it's because I'm so here, awesome. Let's have a chat. Yes. Here, come sit with me. And she calls over El Coco, who just kind of gets on the uh, the chair and uh, kind of leaning over, you know, the, the backwards sit where like the, the back of the chair is in front and he's got his paws just hanging over the top. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, there's not enough space for all of us to sit in the same place, so I'm going to sit next ah. to the dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll become yeah. his bored. tail wagging <laughs> rapidly intensifies as you come near Lyra and he goes Fantastic. to plop his entire weight on your lap. Perfect. Well, I hope we don't have any other combat encounters because I'm not moving out of this chair. <laughs> but how has your trip been, pilgrims, aside from all the trouble? Has it been fulfilling, revealing? Yes, it's been enjoyable. I reckon... I would have to say yeah, the majority of what we faced, I don't think, is anything close to what I expected. Perhaps it is not. rather no. more political than I a anticipated. Of, uh, and yes. also, the dragon's hearts aren't even hearts. Oh, yes. Like, from beginning to end, not one of them just has, like, a little beaten thing that we hold. Mm. <laughs> Disappointed? No. A little bit, yeah. Because <laughs> I figured, you know, once we got everything done, I could eat one. Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that is illegal. Oh, yes. Then I didn't even say that. Word is very concerned about legality. Oh, yeah. It's more important to me than um, porridge. <laughs> it's been a bit of a strange journey. The um, Yes, the conflicts we faced have been rather different than I anticipated as well. A lot more politics and uh, infighting that we seem to be stumbling into. I, I tend to try and keep myself out of those as much as I mm. find it hard not to care. But... Yes. I have a feeling yeah, that it's coming to a, a point recently. Uh, you went on the last one, didn't you? I was, yes, ten years ago. Was anything crazy happening with Trevisetta back then? Well, ten years ago was when uh, Lord Tejero was sworn in, actually, and he's uh, made quite the massive strides in just a decade. Granted, he was a businessman yeah. beforehand, and he owns... Uh, his own inherited Tejero Steelworks, which makes a ton of coin off weapons and armor he supplies to both his private military and the nation as a whole. So it's not like he wasn't without power before he became a lord. Hmm, an arms dealer. Wonderful. Indeed. Honestly, that's how he gets away with a lot of what he does. He's got a lynch linchpin and a majority of the resources the kingdom needs, especially with a blot running around in his territory. So he gets to boss everyone around, and there's not much we can do, unless he accuse anyone of wanting to keep him in check uh, in of regicide or something. Not that he's a king, mm. thank goodness, but honestly, he sure acts like he is. Hmm. Well, he does yeah, seem somewhat smooth. vested in our journey going at least somewhat smoothly. He offered us aid, gave us a cart that until yesterday was being tracked magically, but... Why am I not surprised? Mm. Honestly, he is an evil man, as I like to believe, but he's not stupid. He knows as good as any that the helping Quarencia is for the betterment of everyone. It's in his best interest. If there's no Alinthi, there's no coin to be made. Well, that's some comfort anyway. But enough about that. Look at you. You're halfway there. I suppose we are. I just know for certain that folk back home are cheering you on. I guess we never really, um, we re never really uh, took the time to celebrate that fact. I mean, we're <laughs> halfway there. You are. I think it's yes. worth to celebrate. Another cross. Yes, perhaps mind. it is. Yeah. It almost feels uh, faster than I expected. <laughs> yeah. In the moment, you don't consider it so, but when you look back on it, it's all done, and then it's over. Try to mm -hmm. cherish it while it lasts. But what will you all do once this is over? Usually people go on this pilgrimage looking for something, hoping that you find it, but either way, I, to be quite honest, the final ritual of the life tree is quite anticlimactic, considering all you've 
you're made to go through here, but once you're done, that's sort of it. You save the world and life moves on, so what's your plan after that? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to take the route through one more time and say hello to everybody again and then get some stuff going. Hmm. I'm sure they'd be happy to see you. You've made quite the few connections on your journey, I'm sure. Oh, yes, Hoping the minions left in various cities. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've only made half of them. You do also have that bar. Yeah, that's true. I'm waiting to hear back from that. <laughs> I wonder if you book. I, I well, I mean, I hadn't really um, considered after. Um, I guess <laughs> I, maybe maybe I'll just have to give that more thought. That's all right. You don't have to have it all figured out right now. Right, and I and I don't. Um, <laughs> so I just I'll I'll. Uh, that's a good question, and, I, and I'll think about it. I, to be frank, I had more fun and felt more alive doing this than I have in years. So I'm kind of, uh, I guess, disappointed somewhat that we're only halfway through for as much as we've gone through. But I'm sure I'll. We'll, there's always going to be another adventure, or something afterwards. So I, you know. Yeah. I mean, just look at me. I'm lucky the pilgrimage gave me some notoriety. But I, I think that just comes with the familiarity of doing it so many times. Hmm. People practically know me on a regular basis now all over Alinthi. I could do whatever Fame I want, really. Fame comes with its benefits. Oh. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm sure you'll find it, little man. Oh, oh dear. I look over to the bartender who clearly knows her, and I'll, like, give a wave. <laughs> she, <laughs> she giggles and waves back. Oh. <gasps> Suppose. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Lara's like. <gasps> <laughs> anyway, it's it's a difficult question to ponder. I suppose in the middle of the journey, it's hard to see beyond the end of it. But I've become increasingly suspicious of what we've been told of the blot, and I would like to understand it better. Hmm. So perhaps I'll find some way to investigate once we're done. I do hope you fare better than the previous pilgrims. A couple of other ones wanted to delve further into the blot and it nearly ate them up. Then I also hope I fare better than the previous pilgrims. <laughs> yeah, some of them aren't as lucky as I am. Uh, they barely get recognized. Like your mentor, Shemaya, she completed two pilgrimages and people barely know about her trips. Then again, she probably made it that way on purpose. That does make sense. <laughs> but there are others Who too. Has Mm -hmm. I wonder who has the record for, like, fastest, fastest pilgrimage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> We're an event speed running. <laughs> <laughs> speed running the pilgrimage. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. All five me. dragon hearts, any percent. Oh. Dragon yeah. percent. Right. That reminds me. That was another reason I wanted to come along in this trip, was to check in on one of the pilgrims of the previous pilgrimages. Oh. Goliath by the name, uh, last name, uh, Carmen. She helped me in my oh. last pilgrimage from 10 years ago, but I haven't really heard from or about her since we parted ways. I see. Where is she? Do you know? Uh, probably in Trevisetta. She's a regular city guard there, actually, so I'm guessing she was just busy with her duties, but still, I do worry oh. for her. Yeah, I hope she's alive, being in a place like Trevisetta. I... Yes. Just trouble. We're gonna... Hmm? So are you, are you planning to head that direction after... The plate, the or sorry, the train stops. Or I'm not what? sure. I could stop the train. Trevisetta, <laughs> honestly, one more time, I'll probably just send a letter once we make it to Tigamura. Oh, uh, question actually. What do you know about a place called Theosia? Theosia. Oh, the old kingdom. Hmm. Well, I uh, know as much as anybody else, really. That for a long time, they tried to conquer Alinthi from, I don't know. Maybe a few hundred years ago, thousand years ago. Not quite sure. Can't really pin down the date. But they were a rivaling kingdom. Uh, try and conquerors, em imperialists, something along those lines. And they tried to conquer the entire continent, actually, before they were destroyed under their own weight and the blot. And their history just ended, like, exactly a hundred years ago. Maybe not exactly um. ended, but there there are probably some remnants of them around somewhere in old Deosia but that place is too dangerous to do any sort of investigating. I'm sorry, did we just learn that the ancient empire crumbled only a century ago? Yes. She said a few okay. centuries ago. A few, okay, right. that makes that makes a little more sense. Yeah. Okay. Huh. 
Mm. She can't quite recall oh, whether right. it's like a few centuries or a thousand years. Okay. Yeah, uh, that makes a little more of... sense than like three generations. There's potentially yeah. like elves alive that remember this. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's what no. I was thinking. Because all of Polytrios was like built way at or after that. Yeah, Polytrios is only about a hundred years like... old. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we've done a little preliminary investigation and the story seems like it may be a little more complicated than that, but it's too early to say. Hmm. It, I remember in my vision, there was no blot in that war, like, at all, right? There wasn't. No. Okay. It was them versus Alinthi. Yeah. Do you anything? Do you know anything about Trevisetta's dragon? Oh, I don't oh, know Lord. if we do. Do we? I've I been to Trevisetta you, before. You have been to Trevisetta. She does. You can give me. Oh, ho, ho. You can give me perhaps like a, that was her asking the question as well. Not uh, me. Hmm. I, I think I maybe botched up my accent. Um, no, I heard. But perhaps you can give me a history check, uh, Buck. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god. That's a dirty one. That's oh. not a natural one. It's a dirty one. That's a dirty one, baby. That's impressive. So I don't remember. I don't remember. I had a tumultuous time in Trevisetta, <laughs> so I don't really recall. Yeah. I was focused on other matters. Got focused on other with matters. Them once. Mm -hmm. You know that Trevisetta certainly does have a dragon. Uh, yeah, Trevisetta, they got one of them dragons that I heard about. Yeah. Uh-huh. You don't have to give me anything on a one, Joe. Yeah, I promise you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she just like nods. Uh huh. <laughs> well, you might recall that her name is Pavita. <laughs> no, I don't recall that. Apparently. <laughs> well, uh, she's a very nice lass. Uh, quite young for a dragon, actually. Oh dear. Um, but she's friendly, Pavita charitable even. Uh, quite a surprise, Pavita? considering her home. Mm. What was well, her name again? Pavita. P-A-V-I-T-A. -A. Gotcha. Well, Pavita. we've recently encountered a dragon that is rather lacking in political control over his own territory, so perhaps she's in a similar strait. Mm, perhaps. Uh, she protects the place f uh, there regularly from blot and even monster problems, as there is quite a large population of fauna around the place. But to the point Ooh. it's fairly routine to see her out fighting something. Hells, she even helps inside the city as well, as the province has no end to internal issues, muggers, riots, whole spell-slinging battles and shootouts going on in the streets sometimes, but Pavita always shows up to de-escalate things, and I'm thankful hmm. for that. How idyllic. No wonder they wish to spread their reach over the continent. I... I... Did the dragons used to have more control? No, In it's always regions? been a check and balance thing, since uh, someone so powerful, also having political power, could have potential problems that come along. Because, well, who's to stop them? Yes, we wouldn't exactly relish going to Trevisetta if Nicholas was the dragon, after all. No. Uh, I, my heart does go out to the people of Trevisetta, though. Don't get me wrong, there's, there's good folk there. They've just been drinking from the well so much that some of them can come across a bit abrasive. Mm. They're water people. They're full of amoebas. <laughs> <laughs> Amir you can't keep coming back to bugs. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, There's bugs everywhere. It's still part of Alinthi, and I do, do still love it. I just wish the people there had better luck, you know. Maybe you'll be mm. able to m make some change there where I haven't. It's possible. We'll need to see what the nature of the problem is. Very much so. But on the plus side, it sounds like getting the dragon heart might be the one easy part of our journey through Trevisetta. Oh yeah, oftentimes uh, Trevisetta is both the hardest and easiest thing because the hard part is being in Trevisetta. A dragon mm. heart is usually pretty easy. You see, Pavita's so up to her neck in chores and things that she often just gives it away. She's way too busy to give you a trial. Hmm. Well, well that nice wouldn't change. yeah, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, I don't think. A nice change of pace. Right, right just taking it. Mm. Well, the dragons I, get to set the rules on how their heart is given. I'm sure we could find some way, way to help her. 
Of course, I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Well, I'm hurt. Um, I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm a good oh, job hi. on that front. So. Sorry about that. Here, let me help you. And she holds up her hand, and she's going to cure wounds you. Wow. For wow. about... Twenty-eight hit points. Woo! Twenty-eight. Mm -hmm. That's, That's an upcast that, and a that, half. Does anybody else need some healing? I've uh, <laughs> got a few saved up specifically for this. I'm I got right. a little scar on my hand. Well, oh, here you go. She hands you a potion of healing. Uh -huh. Okay, I'll pocket it. <laughs> 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 and actually, as yeah, a matter I... of fact, she is going to heal everyone at least once. So. I didn't take any mm -hmm. damage. I took two. I don't think I took any either. I took a lot of damage. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. just, just, pour, just pour them on the buck. Yeah, she'll yeah. give you the, the potion and also heal you for full word. Um, okay. Yeah, because she two has a, a cure wounds on you. She just gave me a band-aid and a kiss. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> My boo-boos are all beber. My boo-boos. <laughs> They're beber. <laughs> um, but I, this is awkward because I, I, I am going to go try to take a nap if a while <laughs> oh of course uh, the whole train is yours I'll well, wake you up if uh, something explosive happens that sounds like a plan I, I apologize I just feel like if I'm gonna if we're gonna get into the city I want to make sure I'm rested for it uh, that's well, a good idea we're going to the other place first right Trippa said is later uh, uh, yeah but it's still a yeah, little city the nice one. Oh, all right the nice one Oh, they've got the best little adventurers guild. You're going to love it. Aww. We actually don't like know anything about this place, but we know it's not Trevisetta, which is very. Uh, so win in our book, yes. Yeah. Hi, it's actually a pretty nice place, uh, as influenced by Trevisetta. Uh, oh, matter boy. of fact, I feel like if Trevisetta could tone back a bit of its, I don't know, Trevisetta ness, it could be a very, very nice province. And I think Trigamura is proof of that. You'll see. Huh. But yes, okay. you guys, if you wish to make a, a have a short rest, you may. Yeah, I won't yeah. get any spell slots back, but why not? Okay, so you guys pass the time waiting uh, just a couple of hours uh, along your trip to Trigamura as you as the various trees and grasses pass you by. Uh, his word is his word performing a thing. He's humming to himself. Humming to himself. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys enjoy the company of your old friend Jade, uh, previous pilgrim of Satya, and reminiscing yeah. about times and hanging out. Buck uh, has a little bit of a nap. You guys can roll. Uh, you guys can recover whatever resources you may have from a short rest if you if you need to. And mm -hmm. uh, as time goes on, you hear Byron's voice over the intercom calling out to you, the whole of the train. Attention oh. passengers, we're nearing our destination, just about half an hour out and we'll be there. Thank you for taking part in the, wait, what the hell's? Oh, rotten roots, everybody, brace for impact. And then the entire what? train oh. shakes and bangs, but it keeps going. And just for a brief moment, you see the windows just kind of completely black out. Something rushes mm. past oh. a large oh, figure. Boy. Oh. We smack the blot blob. Oh, oh, I'm standing. Fuck. Do I need to roll to not fall over? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yes. Everybody roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. I'm in we a chair with a dog on me. Do I get advantage? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm fine. I have advantage <laughs> on dex saving throws against effects that I can see. So can I roll? Yeah, you advantage? know what? Yeah. Okay. So... Lyra and Buck, you guys are shifted a little bit, and you take one bludgeoning damage. Ah. As uh, you guys bang up against kind of the walls of the train. And uh, Byron runs through out of the engine room, and he kind of looks to you all, and he looks a little bit relieved. Everyone all right? Mostly. You, what was that? Okay. You might want to brandish your weapons. I think we got a fight on our hands. No. no. Oh, goody. And you guys hear kind of plopping sounds and banging sounds on the roof of the train cars. Mm -hmm. One that you're all too familiar with. You mm -hmm. gotta pull the lever. 
like right <laughs> now. <laughs> You're right. And he goes to open the door and you can see a figure swoop down and pick him up. No! Oh! That's not what I meant. And you can hear <laughs> screaming in the engine room. I'm gonna need everyone to roll for initiative. Oh my, my God. Boy. Oh my. my As boy. if we were Whoops. gonna get through Hold this on. without firing off Chekhov's big lever. <laughs> Hacha! Okay. <laughs> the same as last Come on! Oh, okay. Come on! You're rolling we like roll a paladin. <laughs> okay. So, let me just adjust. Mm -hmm. And you guys can see outside that there are quite a few bits of floating little black goopy creatures. They can fly now. Floating oh, bloopers. Don't start. start. <laughs> They've been flying since like session three. <laughs> and? But they're flying like really fast. Keeping up with the train is pretty impressive. All right. So you guys look outside and you can see the various blot hawks and blotlings surrounding the train. And when you look at the back of the train covering the caboose, there's a massive pile of it. No, our cart. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's a little bit much. Oh no. So oh that's what we just no. ran through. The horses. Oh, that's too many. Yes, the horses. Buck, do something. And you can see as well <laughs> that, uh, uh, <laughs> that we, we all rolled like trash in this initiative yeah, order. Mm. I guess there we were startled. Blot, both inside the engine room and one that has flown off with the conductor, Byron. Oh, oh right. boy. Oh no. I'll try to go after him. Uh, should I? I can fly. Oh yes, oh, you should is. probably go after him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Blot didn't roll great either. I'm gonna make it an eight because Fritz, you have a higher dex. All right, first up is word. Oh, I'm pulling that lever and blowing that whistle. Now, do keep in mind, he instructed that it is going to zap oh, yeah, anything kill outside him. of the train. That includes Byron right now. <laughs> Thank you for your sacrifice. <laughs> no! <laughs> Are you still gonna pull right. it? Uh, you can. No, I... Bl I, uh, I run over and I blow the whistle and then I'm going to head outside. <laughs> Not going to yeah. take the, the, these yeah, guys. There are a lot uh, yeah. kind of oh, attacking yeah. the helpers as well. Menacing the guys. I, I forgot the helpers were innocent. Comes uh, in, high fives the lever and leaves. <laughs> I just wanted to blow the horn. <laughs> I can't really get in there. Uh, I the guess horn I'll is unguarded. A short bow. Okay, oh, short no. bow. Uh, that one is going to hit the little blot goop right mm. here. Yeah, and it's not the most damage. durable thing as bits of it splash around and uh, as it's still latching on to the halfling. Shoot. Oh, oh you I just go. deleted yourself. <laughs> I Word, no! Goodbye! <laughs> <We're> invisible. <laughs> He's Good ascended riddance. to a higher plane. There you go. <laughs> He's become a Star oh, Trek you. energy being. <laughs> <laughs> get, that, uh, get that initiative back in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it still has it for me. Let me reload. Yeah, I'm, I'll huh. make it a 10. Whatever you roll. Uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be my turn though. Just the move okay. and the whistle, the attack. Uh, well, yeah, you gotta add your initiative back. Oh, okay, there we go. I reloaded it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make you a ten. Wait a minute, you are a ten. What am I saying? <laughs> Does Jade need oh, to Lush's roll? Wax for... finger. Uh, I will have Jade go when the blot goes. That's the designated gotcha. NPC initiative. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cool. Got it. Fritz, your turn. Um, how many dashes? Do we get as many dashes as we want? As many, da yeah, dashes and un unlimited resource. You just got to spend an action to do it. Okay, so I get 70 movement. I am dashing the fuck up there. Mm -hmm. you? And then it we agreed it's five feet to get into flight, right? Yeah, and I will say as well, like the start of the sky starts like, um here not where you are hold on can't really oh, see that oh it's color. less far than we thought yeah, yeah 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 so i would say that it starts from here so, so you could reach byron so this turn feet. yeah so if you say fly up 5 feet you would be here 
just for convenience sake of like using okay, the map. Okay, cool. And then I am going to fly up to Byron then. All right. But where would that put me? Would that put me right next to him? Yeah, pretty much, I think. Yep. All right. And then do I have any? Oh, and I still have my Hail of Thorns from the last time because I didn't get to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I know someone, uh, people are going to say Hail of Thorns last 10 minutes. I'm going to say it's a, I'll, I'll allow it. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize. No, it's okay. I'll let you keep it because I'm nice like that. Yeah. Best uh, DM. No, you do only have a bonus action left. Yes, I'm having a double look if there's anything else I want. Ooh, DM hold is on. kind enough to throw 75 blood at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm nice like so that. So kind. <laughs> yeah, nice uh, like that. It's just like a huge goop pile. Oh, wow, I'm so glad my district tour told us not to hold back, so I used one of my three third level spell slots for the day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was hoping I could cast Misty stuff on him, but I can't. Um, yeah, I'll just end here then. All right. I will say as a bonus action, you can try to like pull him, but it's going to be an athletics yeah, check. Yeah, I would, I would like to try to reach out to them. Okay, give me an athletics. Come on, baby. Okay. It's pretty good. It's better than that. How? <laughs> the block honk clutches strongly onto him as you're pulling and pulling and with all your might. Unfortunately, you're not able to pull it out of the hawk's clutches. And you can oh, see no, that it's gripping into him, him as well. It's kind of holding him by the shoulder and you can see its bloody claws kind of punctured in. Stop. That's so gross. Next okay. is the Blotster. He's receiving ouchies. <laughs> uh, these blot above your cart are going to try and start eating through the roof. What? There's a door. There's windows. Would you prefer them to eat through the windows? No. <laughs> Which They're not that smart. Expensive. They're just going to try okay. and go the most direct route. And you can see, you can hear kind of a sizzling sound as uh, they haven't eaten all the way through yet. But they're doing the same in this cart as well. And the Blot Hawks are going to swoop down by the door try and snatch up anybody else they can find. Is there... There. They are dashing. Do -do 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 -do. Using up all their movement. And that's going to be the Blot's turn for now. This one actually is going to try and fly away with Byron. And Fritz, you have an attack of opportunity on it. Okay. Um, if I attack this close with a crossbow, I'm fucked. Um, I'm imagining I'm like trying my best to hold on to him, so I'm going to Talon Strike. All right, Talon Strike. Whoa! Whoa! So I, I'm like, I'm holding him and I just sweep my foot up. All right, you sweep your foot and you cut off its like little leg as the Blathawk lets go. And now Byron is in your arms. Okay, cool. Or rather your other free talon. <laughs> your arms are yeah. wings, I forget. <laughs> oh, oh, mighty thanks, Pilgrim. Uh, try to not All wiggle right. too much. Still as a stone. <laughs> All right. If you guys can get inside before the next blot's turn, well, okay, whatever. We we can. Yeah. Today is going yeah. to spend her turn trying to help out the helpers. As she Yay. opens the door, slides it open. Word you see, and she is going to cast a guiding bolt. Oh. Whoa. You know. And just like she pulls her sword points it towards this blot and phew, just a blast of light shoots it through kind of the little slit window yeah. and just nothing but goop left over splattered all across kind of the wall and out the window and she looks to the warforge helper are you alright and the warforge just like shakily uh, just nodding its head and she just looks to you, Word, and uh, gives you a little th thumbs up. I give her another thumbs up. Hmm. And uh, 
El Coco is just barking menacingly out at the block. Great. Next, Buck, it's your turn. All right. Um, do I think that the horses... I mean, like, I I don't want the horses to get... Uh, I gotta go save the horses. <laughs> Come uh, on, ten, cowboy. Ten it's your feet. whole aesthetic. Let's get here. So that's 10, 15, 25. Uh, and me going to do a rage, I think. Going so into a rage? Find, that's let me cool. find the wild surge and let me roll it. Okay, six. Uh, Plus uh, one AC. Oh, you get an aura of an AC bonus, oh, except you're yeah. not near anybody. Give my horses a bonus to their armor. Well, so, so it's <laughs> while I'm raging, so while I'm within, so let me add a 10 foot radius to me. Hold on. There we go. 10 foot. There you go. Oh, you got it. All right, yeah. cool. Yeah. You guys can see that, right? Yeah, yes. we can. And then I will do a swing one. At a the, swing a one. Let's do a swing one. Ooh. It gets oh, I guess I caught on the door as uh, the, the hawk, the blot hawk, dodges out of the way and it gets a little lodged. Your next attack will be at disadvantage. Okay. As you need to pull it free. Okay, this it doesn't matter. Oh the goodness. second one you it's slam 13. down as this thing is kind of taunting you and you just splat it in one hit. Nice, nice. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, got 25 feet of movement still. I will go over here. And this, I can't remember if this is efficiency or if this is... I think that's, that's butterscotch. butterscotch. The, uh, the okay. cow pattern one is efficiency. Okay, I'll try. Can I, I, I guess I've already used my action. I don't know if you'll, and bonus action. I don't, I don't know if I have enough, like, movement action to, like, free it or anything, but probably not if you saw my movement. Well, she's not bound or anything. Oh, I thought they were, come this way. Come on, come, nice, nice girl. Uh, I'll try and I want to like try and get the. I want. Yeah, animal handling. Yeah, yeah. that makes sense. That's such That's a rare hard. roll. Uh, why won't it let me do it? Okay, Ooh. you can see they're a little bit spooked, but you're able to corral them to like follow along. So yeah, they I will try and get them. follow you for the next turn. If you need, nice. you need them to. Yeah, I'm gonna try and cool. Uh, can they fit through like to this other? I just don't want them to be in the back because that's where the the, the goop pile yeah, is. Yeah, they can just about fit through the door. They can squeeze through if they're careful. Uh, okay. And I would I'll say with that there. with that animal handling, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I had my turn. Lyra, your turn. Okay. Uh, first off, I want to suggest a uh, word. You don't have to do this, but if you can hold an action to pull the lever as soon as Fritz and Byron are back inside. That would probably be real good. Um, That's the plan. Cool. Cool beans, because that means I don't have to do that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to, once again, uh, lean out the window, and I'm going to cast my second Call Lightning of the Day, which has a 60-foot radius. Uh, we are going to have to paint this one where you want to do it. I'm, I'm trying, uh, but I, I fucked it up. Ah. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Now, let's see. Dead. That might be 60 feet. It's pretty big. No, it, that, that is about, I measured. Basically, each of the train cars is 60 feet long. Uh, please help me kill this circle, because that's not where I want it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, I, I do want it to cover both of these train cars, basically. Okay. Um, so, this is a little closer to what I wanted. Yes. So, cool three-dimensional effect on that. Not what yeah. I wanted it to be, but that's okay. <laughs> Select it. There we go. Oh, thank you. Okay, great. Oh, my gosh. Um, okay. It, yeah, she's Brown. a big boy. Um, uh, yes, and for my first strike, uh, pff, I just got to pick one of these guys. Um, this is so excessive. Uh, let's just go for uh, this little fella. By just the door. Just sneak in between the train cars mm-hmm. and... Uh, Let's just, whip. All right, so uh, make a save. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Even if right, they make cool. that save, they're zapped to bits. Great. Wow. All right, uh, yeah. <sighs> oh, and for my bonus action, I am going to shift so I get a little more mobility and some uh, temp HP. All right. So, yep. Word, your turn. There is still one little blotling in the engineer's room. 
Yeah, I think I will do exactly as suggested. I'm going to hold my action to pull that lever. Okay. Uh, the moment our friends get inside. It's, yeah, I think that takes up my primary action, so I will not move neither. Oh, I scoot right here. Fritz! Uh, I'm Are safe to go into the circle, right? Yeah. Yes, uh, it'll only strike you with lightning if I ask it to. Okay, uh, we're doing the exact same thing we did before. I'm dashing in. Dashing in, okay. So Which we're gonna I cut, wanted to. We're gonna cut actually bring the movement right. by 20 if you are going down. Uh, I don't want to go past that blot because I think it might attack me. Right, I'm right, going right. the same way I came in. Okay. Right, yeah. out the side door. Yeah. Through the side door. And I'm going to land here. Okay. He can climb down himself. Yes. <laughs> you let him down and quickly go through uh, the door, and you're safely inside. Word, you may pull the lever. I do. Pull so. the lever, word. <laughs> you pull I the hope lever. It's the right one. Wrong lever. Yes, I do. You pull the lever, and Big just one. as proposed, a massive, bright blue arcane energy covers the train. Boosh. Whoa! Whoa! Got it. And it zaps pretty much all the blot that is now on top of the train, just into bits and goop. Yeah. And goop let me bits. just boop doop doo. All the ones kind of in between the train cars are safe though. A mm. bummer. That's all right. There's doo -doo -doo -doo. only so five. So I'm just gonna delete count. them, and they stop eating through the top. Six seconds. The uh, let's see, the massive blot kind of lets go of its grip somewhat until there's just a little bit left. However, you guys do hear a loud thud. Oh, no. right oh above boy! The oh, no, no, no. oh boy! Yeah. I'm trying to delete Papa's those little Papa. blotlings. Just pretend those little blotlings <laughs> are not there. Okay. But Buck, you hear a loud thud above your car. Uh huh. <laughs> Now it's the blot's turn. Mm -hmm. The mass of blot is still attempting to keep its grip, but just barely. You can see that the uh, lightning is just kind of zapping it from the back. You can hear crackling noises. And buck above your car, you hear the creaking and bending and shattering of metal as the mass of humanoid blot jumps down between the two horses and looks at you with its bright, oh, glowing, horses. singular eye. Make a wisdom save. Oh, uh, um. Whoa! Oh! My goodness. Come on, I Andy, will. Like... You, it tries to peer into your brain and you see flashes of a life that is not familiar to yours, but before you're able to recognize anything, you shut your eyes and shut it out. Your brain is stalwart. You hold it off. No, wait, there was plot in there. Go back. <laughs> but you do hear the words echoing in your brain, not in the common language, but you still understand it. Betrayers. Oh, 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 oh. Next uh, is going to be the little, uh, let me grab the little hawks, the blood hawks, hold on. Uh, send to let's send it back. There we go. To back. There we go. It's hard to grab the the other tokens because the um the barrier is like the entire map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So back. There we go. So these hawks are gonna come inside. This one is gonna flank you, Buck. This is gonna try and take a bite out of you. Mm -hmm. Oh. I got a 15 AC now. You do have a 15. It is not going to be able to puncture as it just like tries to bite into your arm, but you completely shrug it off. It's not even able to pierce. Well, hoping I can uh, sneak these lightning bolts in through the windows. Otherwise, this spell is going to be a fat lot of useless in a second. <laughs> uh, I don't want him to hurt the Clear, horses. The blot, uh, so you missed a little bit. Some of the blot hawks flew into the train cars. One is flying into the one that you're in, Fritz, and it's going to spit at you. Okay. And I am right here. Doo -doo -doo. I have, me. don't worry, I've got your AC on uh, a sheet <laughs> that I can see. Don't worry. I know all your secrets. <laughs> and 
unfortunate. Wow, everything hates you because this thing is just gonna hit you really hard now. No! Okay, cool. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> no! The world hates you. It cuts out your internet and makes your enemy crit against you. It's just awful. Oh, God. Mm. Well. Right, keep, let's keep going. We'll, we'll mark have down. To tell me yeah. what's going on. You, you take 18 piercing damage as there is a blot hog oh. that kind of oh spits God! at your direction. 18? Piercing? Just a flesh wound. Just a flesh <laughs> wound, you say. And this one is going to swoop down and try and claw at Jade. And it does no, get a nick our girl. in. Oh no. Ooh, and she is going to look pretty roughed up as well. Uh, no! By a, by a bit of clawing from this boy. Today is going to try and swipe back at it. It's too fast. It dodges out of the way. Mm -hmm. um, and this one is going to try and pull the halfling outside of the train, this blot that was harassing it. And it's pulling it out, pulling oh. one of the engineers as they're oh, trying no. to hold on for dear life. Oh, boy. Hey, oh, boy. Stop that guy. This one is going to fly into this cart to see if there's any people. There are not. And now... El Coco, the main character, is kind of whimpering in fear a yeah. little bit. Oh, no! no! How dare you, sir! <laughs> Buck, your turn. Alright, uh, let's start with attacking the little one that's right by me. Mm -hmm. me splat that bad boy. Of... Just want to try and splat it. Do like the Batman no-look punch. Oh, yeah, just smashed in one hit, completely squished. That's what he did. Mm? Now, okay, can I, I like... Point. Oh, God. Can I, like, try to tell the horses to go through? Yeah, you can command the horses. They're definitely going to try their way to go through. I mean, I know this is here, but I don't want... I, I mean... Yeah. I, I know I know this thing is not concerned about the horses. Mm -hmm. There's a horse uh, loose in the sleeper car. <laughs> they're going to try and squeeze past at your command and panic as well. Uh, they're able to get this far. This one is, uh -huh. is going to be in the middle of the uh, kind of between cars pathway, though. Butter, uh, Butterscotch technically could trample that thing. It could, if commanded to do so. Uh, hmm. Too far away, Can I, I think. And I can't command it to do I so. I would say you can give me an animal handling check as a bonus action. So kind of you. Get it, boys. All right, yeah. yeah. You command Butterscotch to just trample through? Is that what you do? Yeah, both of them. I mean, if I can both tell them to them? just like, yeah! <laughs> Well, just wait. Like, yeah, yeah! Get, get as far away from. Oh Hot my god! Yeah. Nice. Are hooves uh, a d? Uh... Oh wow! You actually I'm, got. I'm just them. clicking the. Oh my god! Whoa! Wow! All right. Get yeah. them, butterscotch. Those legs are boosh, healing. Boosh, 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 as they stomp and stomp and stomp. Boosh, 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 boosh. And efficiency as well. Can you get me a roll for efficiency? Oh yeah! Heck yeah! Uh, Since you already have the like see the Appaloosa, thing yeah. up, so I don't have to do it. All right. Wow. Okay. And hooves. Actually, it's plus These three. No matter what, they both they squish this thing. It's yeah! dead. Oh my goodness! Yeah! I can only like, envision crit. like Jeez. the the fucking horse from Tangled. You know the one. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's efficiency. Yeah, exactly. Joe, is there some sort of maybe release mechanism between these uh, between? <laughs> these two cars or like a way Let's I can unhitch say I'm going to give you an Our investigation card. check. If you can pass the investigation check, you can unhook the car. <laughs> what a way to lose the cart. Okay, you're Fuck. looking around. You can't <laughs> quite find get it. Rid of <laughs> oh no, we need the lantern. Yeah. Now, this will that was like unhook, 150 Yeah, this will unhook your cart with the uh, lantern of true sight, just so you know. So that's I, why he repaired it for free. I, I really think that like, I know guys, but I... I just oh. feel like with this huge blot blob on us, like I just what? don't think. Oh gosh. We can We're back always in business, boys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we, we can always we can detonate the shield and it'll do damage to the stuff on the outside. Uh, so that that is a that is a recourse that we could do before unhooking the later car. But I I, I don't know. The tree side is such a valuable power to have. Uh, <laughs> but I I just I'm very I won't do it yet, but because I can blow. I'll stand as the, the bulwark between this thing and, but I'm gonna get messed up by this thing or it's gonna grab and eat me. Oh. And then we're gonna have to decide whether I'm more valuable than the car <laughs> with the true sight. So who do we like more, guys? Let's make, let's- uh, Can we get a lantern of true sight in Trevisetta? 
Well, Post I don't know. in chat it... <laughs> who you like more, Buck or the cart? I don't know. Vote Does Buck now. grant us the power to see invisibility? <laughs> he does not. I'm certain of it. Um, I will. My, what I want to do is, uh, it, but I won't. This is, I think, maybe one of those decisions that has to be a party one, and I don't want to make without the mm. party's approval. I want to slam my hammer down and try to like decouple this. If Could possible. you mage hand it? What? I. Mm. Word can't oh, mage hand the true side no, lantern I'm, I'm... from three cars away. Yeah, I'm way too far away. Just, yeah. I'm definitely, once I take this thing out, I'm gonna try and do my little scuttle rush to get there. Mm -hmm. But just, we'll see. So I... Yeah, I will I'll, say, I will say and, detaching the cart will be a party decision since it's something yeah. that's all of you yeah. guys' property. I, that would be to, my vote to do, um, given yeah, the I wanna leave it up to, to Fel, um, like just my vote, because I don't, word would be mad no matter what. <laughs> but I think he he could get over it. I don't really. I mean, we're still going to be walking around Olynthia. Just mm -hmm. yeah. we'll get a new cart. We have our horses more than enough. Yeah. Uh, I would vote yes. Buck's life is worth more than a lantern. Uh, Poi, thank you very much. <laughs> I, I really red red I is like red I'm is so like ah uh, the true life. <laughs> guys, sight. I've I've like I've tried to like homebrew stuff before where I was like, oh, I'll give this thing true sight, and it's like true sight is so busted. You cannot give true sight as an ability <laughs> to anybody. And now I'm like, we just have it's a lantern so that does it. I, but but ultimately, I framed ultimately. it. I framed it in, in an unfair way for red because I know it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's... The thing is, ultimately, I love the character decision, Do you want and I'm not gonna. You're gonna say no, I, love the character. I, I think this is more fun. <laughs> um... All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna slam the hammer down because I do have another attack action to oh, try to de bastard. Okay, decouple the, the down. car. Brute force it. Okay, slam your hammer down. Give me an, uh, give me an attack. Uh, attack, attack, attack. Can I do it recklessly or no? You. I didn't do it on the other one, but I don't. Know if you have. Let me. Find I it. don't think you can because you. I don't think don't I can. Quite you're right. You're know right. Know where the release hatch is. You're just hitting around. Twenty. Okay. You hit it 19. and you can see Yeehaw. the cart. Kinda, That's ten damage. Ten damage. Just kind of. Oh. You can see that it's like loosening a bit wherever you hit it. Oh. It. Uh, you might just break this thing off rather than find the release hatch. Okay. But. Uh, but that's my turn, yeah. and I'll stay there. All right, Layra, your turn. There are block uh, box coming in. Yes. Um, so you're going to need to tell me if I can sneak a lightning bolt down through the door or if that's not cool. I'm going to um, say because it's such a powerful spell and it's such a big area, I'm going to say yes. Thank you. The door uh, is open. So, yeah, I, I could imagine yeah. it arcing through. <laughs> All right. It just comes down, does a little 90 degree angle. I'm going to aim at this bad boy if mm -hmm. that's cool. Uh, yep, yep. Let me just pull up rules as written. Um <clears throat> uh, each of your turns until the spell ends you can use your action to call down lightning in this way again yeah it's like witch bolt but actually good wow yeah. okay oh it, it's red because one of those rolled a one yeah 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 um, okay yeah, it can so, potentially uh, survive this actually if it makes okay. the save and it is a come on I just had this uh, DC 14 dex yeah. save Yes. Okay, it actually makes Ooh. it this time, but it's looking very roughed up as this lightning arcs into the door and zaps it. Okay. Uh, and I, let's see. I think I have. Uh, uh, yes. As my bonus action, I'm going to uh, spend two Bomb of the Summer Court dice to heal Fritz. Uh, let me just roll this twice. Uh, oh, yeah. oh <laughs> great. Well, that's how much oh, damage did I take last time? So I can add. You uh, took like eighteen. You um, took eighteen, 18 yes. And you just healed three, but you also gained two temp HP. So total, it's like five. Total, it's like five. Yeah, it's not not my okay. not my not my best round. All the things I up. want to do are actions. Anyway, hmm. <sighs> yeah, I, I'll stay here and defend El Coco. <laughs> All right, word, your turn. Oh boy, um, I'm gonna scooch over and try and lace uh, just an arrow shot through to take out that blob that I've been working on. Okay, show me so we'll arrow. Sure, bow. Now, if do this good, lands please. and it does, it does count as a sneak attack because the engineer is an ally, and it shoot goes it right detonated. in. Detonated. And boom, dead. All right. Great. The halfling is uh, free and gives you a little salute as they are shaking a little bit. We I did take it, a Patrick. Bow. 
<laughs> and I will use my bonus action to dash, risking the attack from this thing. Okay. Uh, so that was five. 10, 15, or I guess 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh my and God. I'm there. I'm going to get uh, attack of opportunity from that guy. You are, and it is going to slash you on your way in. Okay. And you are For going to take nine slashing damage, and I'm going to need All you right. to make a constitution saving throw. These things are beefy uh, for how little they are. Before that happens, I'm going to use my gem of blades <gasps> to uh, once per short rest when you receive damage from a source within 10 feet of you, I'll spend my reaction to deal half back to it. Okay. Ooh. So it'll take uh, four damage. Okay. You deal half back, and it, like, as it goes to claw at you you can see the claw as soon as it hits you and you do feel the pain it's claw just yeah. like kind of splatters Ew. okay yeah. it's a con save you said con save yes gods be with me Ooh. oh no they don't Ooh. like me okay you can feel kind of a stinging sensation you are poisoned no uh, not again that's not good it's been okay. poisoned fritz that boy is poisoned. <laughs> hey, who is still alive? Um, that one's almost dead. I'm going to at this one. And oh wait, will my help? No, I hope the hell of thorns doesn't hurt her because I still have it on. Okay, it depends on hail of thorns' wording. Let me. That is going to hit and that is going to kill that blot as you fire into it and she's kind of just holding it at bay. But an a stray bolt just comes in and foop, kills it before it gets too close to gnawing her face. Okay. I forget how to show you the wording for something. It should be show in VTT uh, when you select yeah. the spell. Oh wait, that's not it. Whoopsie, wrong one. <laughs> Other one. Yep. <laughs> no, now they know our secret. Uh, each creature within each creature. five feet of it. So Jade is gonna have to make a dexterity saving throw. You know what? I believe things, in right? you. <laughs> uh, apparently not this one, as she takes the full brunt of the thorns that oh, kind of uh, spread out and uh, uh, kind of like jab into her a little bit. And she it's just- It's only a 1d10. Uh, I don't think it got rolled. Oh yeah, roll it. How much? Oh, uh, I think this is- I was about to look for the damage. Yeah, five. Bye. Okay, five's not so bad. She's fine. And a few That's thorns so kind of so lodge into her, and she just Chunk. goes, Ah, is this because I kept that secret? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I understand. No. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I had it on. <laughs> <laughs> had the silly thing in reverse. <laughs> okay, Jade is going to go check up on the civilians and just help them in and heal them up. She runs into the engine room, pull them aside. This Wait, block. She has a paladin or something, right? She's a cleric. Mm -hmm. Oh, never mind. She did a guiding bolt early. She did a guiding bolt. Well, I don't and know. Healing I don't order. know what paladins are capable of. I've only played one up to level like three. Mm -hmm. A lot enough. of similar stuff. Mm. So I, I don't blame you for thinking. So uh, this one is kind of uh, barely holding up. It's crawling and it's gonna try and go up to attack you, Lara, seeing as you were the one who zapped it. So it's gonna crawl up I on the got here. chair. <laughs> Alright, let's go. It's gonna try and claw into you. And it is gonna land its claw as it its talon just reaches out and scratches you and you are going to take <laughs> 11 slashing damage. And Whoops, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. You're telling me my prodigious 11 AC didn't protect me from that? All right, con save. Con save. Oh, <laughs> you are also I had to poisoned. watch it like rock past the 20 and straight onto the two. Um, all right, where are the hell uh, conditions? Poisoned? Yep, yep. Poisoned. Blech. Disadvantage on attack rolls. No. Now I'm just gonna have to strike everybody with lightning more. Oh <laughs> shit, my other con save. Um, oh yeah, concentration. <laughs> okay, we're good. All, All right. right, you're fine. Operations, just strike everybody with lightning is a go. <laughs> uh, this one, seeing what's going on in there, is going to try and spit at you, word. No. And it's gonna miss. 
Ah, yeah. <laughs> no. <fire>. yeah. <laughs> this one, <laughs> seeing as you're blocking the way, Buck, the uh, the big humanoid blot just comes by, reaches out long, goopy hands into your car, and you can see no. that it starts to cover it in this blackness, and it starts to shake and shake and shake and shake the rest of the train as well. No. Heavily. I'm going to need everyone to make a dexterity sh- saving throw as this thing is trying to vibrate the entire oh, train. Do I get something for that? I don't want him to do that. Uh, oh, you have advantage oh, I... from that drink. Oh, yeah, I do. I don't get oh, anything for being a cat, but I do get it for being drunk. Hell yeah. Critical success. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, Thanks, goblin drink, with unspecified meat particles in it. <laughs> everybody except Fritz succeeds, so you are all fine. Fritz, however, you stumble and are you fall prone from the sheer just magnitude of this vibration. Okay. Everyone except like Fritz is going to take three bludgeoning damage. Fritz, you're going to take six. Uh, Buck, since you're raging, you're only going to play take one. <laughs> nice. And Fritz, you are also knocked prone as That's you fall okay. off your balance. Four damage. And that is going to be the blot's turn. Buck. I also want to recognize something that Joe went through the uh, trouble of redrawing our cart. <laughs> <laughs> Before I did, yeah. I, with wheels. I, God with speed, wheels. you beautiful bastard. <laughs> I'm gonna try and and free us, free the cart more more rather. And I'm gonna. Is the rest of the party okay with this decision? Yeah, I want you to be safe. But I'm okay with it. It sounds like you're not like you can say we're not, and I will just no, try no, no. It's fight it's them. funny. <laughs> <laughs> like this is like it's a Do loss, it. but it's not like a worse loss than you getting eaten by the blot would be. <laughs> Nah, I'm going to say right. at least my horse snacks are back in that cart, so I will be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you slam down and you break the car free. As And when you do, you see the barrier. I haven't drawn anything for this, but the barrier quickly <gasps> covers the car that is attached to the locomotive as the rest of it slowly kind of fades away in your vision and slows down. And the humanoid blot is standing there staring at you, Buck stalwart and you defeat the blot but lose yeah. your card in the process no, no. no. I'm sorry <laughs> no, all that's left Goodbye, are the stragglers car. all of a sudden the train is moving much faster <laughs> <laughs> isn't there one straggler there's two there's two or, oh two oh yeah so uh I still have an attack hold on you do uh yeah and I can get there yeah, <laughs> you I, run to... past the horses up to one of the blood hawks. Oh yeah, you squish it easily. It's Fourteen damage. Yeah, <laughs> boosh, splatters all, right. all over the nice seats. And then I end my turn there. End your turn, Lyra. One more little lightning bolt. Yeah, you don't even have to roll anything. <laughs> if it, even if you rolled a two, this thing it's got one HP. These things had ten. Cool. Uh, there are glass cannons, and you zap it as it's actually getting ready to go and scratch El Coco, and El Coco kind of backs <gasps> into a corner, a little bit whimpering, no. but then a lightning comes in, boosh, zaps it, <laughs> and it explodes, and El Coco goes back to his strong, stalwart self, ruff, 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 barking at the remains of the blot. Yes. <laughs> as good a heroic origin story as any. Congratulations. You fended off the blot from the train. Good work, team. Cart. <laughs> True sight lantern, my beloved. If that uh, fairy guy shows up again, we're not going to have any way of knowing. <laughs> well, we'll do what we can. Yeah. Uh, well, Buck, be on the lookout for far sight stuff. Can you explain something to me? <laughs> uh, oh, wait, we could try e- to retrieve it at some point. <laughs> Maybe. It is just going to be on the railroad tracks, eaten by blot. <laughs> Well, we I don't know if we're gonna have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. plot shows up, like, like we're like, we'll, we'll be invisible and sneak up on it, and it like pulls well, the true sight lantern out of its torso. Oh <laughs> this train no! is owned by this, this uh, train is owned by someone. I'm sure they'll try to retrieve the ho- rest of the half of it. Mm. I'm uh, sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Byron. Like after he settles down a bit, well, uh, I'm not envying the cleanup crew. 
can you give me a hand? <laughs> I'm like on the floor, like, please, buy Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> Thanks for saving me, by the way. He extends a hand to you to pull you up. Oh. No problem. I'm just glad I didn't oh. drop you. Ooh. And the team's alive. We're all alive. I think that's what's important. Yes. Mm. All right, let's get some healing in, everybody. I'm right. actually good. Jade also cool. comes in and just like, is everyone all right? That's scuffed For the most up. Part, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna uh, drop a. I'll come in actually. I'll drop a cure wounds on uh, Fritz. Jade goes so to check in on El Coco. Eight points back. Oh, my rage will end. Oof. Oh, good work, everybody. Is everybody all right? For the most part. The word goes back and like opens the door to see the <laughs> missing carts. And he turns around and kind of does the soy face, but he's like <laughs> angry about like the pointing. Uh, um, Jake. Buck, do you want to explain something to me? Where's the door? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. Where's our cart? Well, uh, um, uh -huh. the the back half of the train was covered in, essentially, entirely covered in the blot, and I was one and, and delicious on one. snacks and rations, mm -hmm. and delicious snacks and rations. I just thought that because I was one v oneing the giant one eyed king of blot. Oh, it's back. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And I, I did what I had to to protect us. I didn't know how much. I, I, I made a split decision. Okay, I understand that we will all come to regret this decision, but <laughs> uh, for now, and he just kind of strides up to you and then holds out a little taloned paw. You owe me two gold for those snacks. <laughs> and you can hear Buck uh, kind of just in your brain and four blankets Buck can hear that in no, his brain? No, sorry, word, word you do Oh, <laughs> oh word, sorry. here's four blankets Here's uh, I don't have any blankets How about six gold? How about six gold and then you bring me the blankets later I'm going to give you six gold, and I will try to remember to bring the blankets. In the meantime, can I borrow your poncho? Oh, no. no, this is my <laughs> th th this is my poncho. I can't. I've used it to cover my body with. I am putting a mental note. There's in, blankets in, in the in the resting car. In I mean, you my can, mind, you want me to Alice. Get you guys are negative surrounded six blankets. blankets. <laughs> There's you're, if you're if you need blankets for the horse, there they couldn't be by more blankets. In fact, I think they're closer to the blankets that they had now than in the previous cart. I think I may very well go get them. Oh, okay, so it's just six gold. It's just six gold, man. <laughs> and you don't get these blankets back. Okay, I, they <laughs> well, weren't. I'll they shut weren't the door. My, they weren't my blankets. <sighs> Word, you hear kind of in the back of your mind another voice. That was a good attempt, boss. We'll get him next time. <laughs> uh, who, who is speaking to me right now currently? That's that's the begonias, right? Yes, non-stop begonias. <laughs> okay, why, why do you need blankets, though? Oh, I think they can be pretty. <laughs> I'm always that's fascinated actually. with mortals' artistry. I didn't I like know blankets. <laughs> all right, but... All right, have Adam, I guess. You know, there's like... A few beds here. Are you gonna put them somewhere that isn't here? Hmm. Perhaps. Okay. <laughs> Have fun figuring that out. They, like they're that all yours. Your little <laughs> pocket Ryuk is just weirdly positive. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> For now, we hang out. He can have some blankets. They might go missing. <laughs> I took six gold out of my and I uh, out of my inventory for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I swapped it. Thank you. Damn. Nice. <laughs> your your character look, decision tax. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I will I'll use the rest of my money to try and get us a card in the next city. I just 
feel like it's just a cart, and I know it was helpful, and I'm sorry. I was kind it's of up right. against a wall. That thing, when I, it tried to, as it had done in the past, tried to enter my mind, and it spoke to me. Are you still hearing it now? I'm not, but I think what it called us, maybe, was pretty interesting. It called us the Betrayers. Hmm. A narrative is forming that I don't particularly like. Wait. No, I don't remember anyone in recent history (laughs) I betrayed. (laughs) I don't think it was about you specifically. It could be. No, it was plural, that's right. Which means you're all in on it, Toad. I haven't been in on many things. That narrows it down significantly. Jade kind of comes up. Be that as it may, I think you made the right decision, Book. You kept us all safe, and a cart is just a cart. You can always get a new one. Hells, here, I'll pitch in. And she puts a pouch down of ten gold. I spent quite a lot on this trip, a lot of my savings actually. Uh, Transportation wasn't cheap, but I'll spare what I can. And considering there's a major adventuring guild in Tigimura, perhaps we could make a little bit more money for you. They're always looking for work. Ooh, that would probably be wise, especially if we uh, don't have a cart to sleep in on the road anymore. It's fine, it was the correct decision. We must simply plan. Yes. It does sound you know kind of interesting. I haven't been put to work in... I don't even remember. <laughs> Fritz, you had something also to say? For th- oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to like go up to Buck, and I'm going to put my... I guess I technically have hands. They're like cool hands, but they're tiny. Yeah. Uh, Little pterodactyl on hands. Buck, yeah, I put them on Buck's uh, shoulder, and I'm like, are you okay? You reach. Like, are you okay? Oh. I'm quite tall myself. Okay, all right, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just like, huh. This party has only one short king. And his <laughs> name only, is the boss. There's, there's the only one short boss in this party. Right, how tall they are? I think they're like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm fine. I, the, the concern wasn't as much for me as it was for all of you all on this side of the train. It, it would have been much more difficult without the um, force field thing. Yeah. That I turned into a bomb. Oh yes, we could still blow that up. We probably shouldn't do that. Yeah, you, well, you I did the that's right what thing I did. to protect the hearts. Yes. Yeah. Speaking um, of, all the hearts still accounted for. We're all we're all good. Oh, when yeah. you check your pockets, check. they're all still there, just as you remember. Okay. Them. Phew. Maybe, maybe I'll be more clear for the three of you. Um, I guess this J- Jade and Byron to a lesser extent, but if this thing just takes the hearts, I mean, obviously that's important, but I'd, I'm not trying to see you or anyone else get hurt on our account. And so, Byron, I'm sorry that that had to happen. Byron steps up. When I said this was a privilege, I mean it. We all knew what we are signing up for. And don't you worry your little head. We're part of this. We're all in this together. Saving Lilinthi. It's our job. Mm. Somebody's got to do it. Definitely. Well, heck, oh. this guy's got a better <laughs> view of what we're doing than we do sometimes. Mm-hmm. And you hear a little whistling sound from, uh, from the engine room. And Byron uh, looks back. And it looks like our job is going to get a little bit easier. As you guys oh. slowly head towards Tigamura, now in sight, over the hills. Yay. You're now in the next city and the next leg of your journey. Ooh, and that Tigamura. is going to be where we end today's session. Yay. Yay. Cool. Dang. That was awesome. Yeah. I'm sorry, Joe, about that you did all the redrawing of the <laughs> no, car. No, it's cool. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't a lot of Maybe, work. Maybe the cart will come back one of these days. You'll find it. You'll yeah. get a new cart with blackjack and courtesans. 
Yeah. <laughs> and strangely, it's the exactly color... same model. <laughs> just color shape it. Yeah, just change the color. I'm we'll glad that we're going to be able to ordinary. to like rough it in the dangerous wilderness a little bit more. You know, we've really been lacking in random encounters so far. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's blood or nothing in this house. Who knows what else you could run into?